Hello again, my name is Tribal Instincts and here is yet another virtual reality review. This is not on a game, this is on the VR cover. This is the thing that goes on your face and it keeps your face off of the Vive itself, off the foam padding. That also keeps your sweat, your grease, your skin, it keeps just everything off of it, which also means it keeps it off of other people, which is a fantastic additional benefit of that. So before we get into this, let me address that. It's a big mess back there. It's a really big mess. I was gonna clean it up, but then I thought, mm, why don't I just let you guys see it? Because that mess is for you, every bit of it. I just got done live streaming a, it probably took me about two and a half hours, maybe three hours to put together a new computer for this. Not, a, not, a, not replacing my current one, but in addition to a computer to offload a lot of the resources that it takes for me to uh, stream video and also record video so that I can focus on the gameplay and then also keep everything separate. I'm not gonna get into too much of that right now. This is about this guy. So let's go ahead and cut to the VR review. All right, so let's talk about the negatives first. I think that this thing has a lot more positives. So let's go ahead and just get the negatives out of the way. The first one is I'm kind of concerned with the build quality. Now, I've, <laughs> I've never actually inspected, you know, the stitching of most of my shirts. I, you know, I'm not really all that much caring if it fits and it doesn't look completely ridiculous. We're just gonna move on. Uh, then I'm okay with it. As long as it feels good, I'm happy. So. Yeah, let me find which one it is. So there's there's some differences, and I highlight this sort of in the in the review that's playing in the background right now. But like on this one, let me get it in there, right? I mean, you have like some overlap there. However, in the exact same spot on the other one, it is not the case. You have like some some different overlap, and you know, it just it there there seems to be some some different quality in how it's stitched together. And again, I've never actually looked into my clothes to find out if this is normal. Um, so. Maybe this isn't a negative. However, I'm worried that if there are these, you know, these slight differences, then maybe somebody might get one that, you know, is completely wrong and it maybe just doesn't fit. So far in both of these, and I only have two of them, so I haven't, you know, I don't have exactly a large sample size. I mean, they seem fairly well done as far as, you know, where the actual stitching is to compared to, uh, to how it fits on the Vive. However, it's just, you know, the only thing I've noticed is that, you know, there seems to be some, like, corners cut. Like, I don't know if you can really see that. But, I mean, it's just... You know, it's not a high, like, I don't know, just a high quality looking thing. It does do get its job done, but at the same time, I mean, it's just, I don't know, it seems like they cut corners in a few different places. And let's talk about putting it on. This is not so much a negative after you've had it for a little bit. Um, for the first few times, it's a little bit awkward to, to put this thing on and actually get it correctly fitted to the device. If you haven't watched their video yet, they have a good walkthrough on how to attach it. This seems like a no-brainer. It seems like you don't need to watch their video. I do recommend it though, because it is kind of awkward to put on the first few times. I wish that they could have some way to maybe just like have it like a clip-on thing or just something to where it would be quicker for me to put this thing on, take it off, put the other one on again. Because like after I've completely saturated this thing with sweat, I just want to replace it, and it's, it takes a little bit of time to do that. Not bad, and you get quicker at it. In the video that I showed you, you know, I wasn't like trying to do a, you know, a quick, very, very quick uh, assembly of it, but you know, it, it takes just a few seconds for it to put it on. Not too bad though, but it is somewhat of a negative, especially at the first. Comfort. This one I have mixed feelings on, because personally, I find this incredibly comfortable. I actually find it to be a, a more pleasant sensation than the foam padding. My daughter, on the other hand, she says that she doesn't like the feeling. So I don't know, this seems like it's gonna be a very, very uh, individual preference. So your opinion on this one may be completely different than mine. Uh, so I'm listing this one as sort of a negative and a positive, segueing into the, uh, to the other half of this, because it seems to be to each their own. I really, really like this. I, I, I actually think that it is more comfortable than the standard foam, but other people might not. So yeah, you can't really ask somebody's opinion on this one because it seems to be different per person. Moving into the positives, this thing does its job, okay? Its job is to keep your face off the headset. And it does that, it does it very, very well. Uh, this past week, I actually did some, some pretty serious stress tests with this thing where I got myself into a nasty, wet state, okay? I, I, I absolutely got myself sweating profusely all over the place. And this thing held up wonderfully. Uh, the foam behind the padding, it was a little bit damp afterwards. Hey, just so you can see the difference, look at the color difference between my forehead uh, and you know the sides there. This is about how, how wet it feels after maybe playing Audio Shield for 
20 minutes or so. This, this looks like I just dipped this in a, like a bucket of sweat. That is so gross. Okay, if I had just been that the foam, and I've done this before, right, with even le significantly less than what I put it through this past week, and the foam was nasty, it was wet, it was soaked all the way through, you could almost like wring it out and like have sweat dropping through it. I I'm sure the same thing could have been done with this one. However, it doesn't touch the foam padding. So that means that once this thing is beyond a usable state, you take it off and then you put the other one on. And that is its primary focus. The other thing is to protect the foam itself. Here, let me take this off real quick. Let me show you. All right, so this, this is nasty. I don't know if you can tell this, but uh, the, the sides of these things more so than the others, they are, they're getting scrunched up. There is an identifiable salt layer. It's kind of hard to show in, the, in there, but uh, it, is, it is clearly more white on the top than it is on the bottom. And I've, well, I've washed this thing, right? I've followed the instructions on how to clean this thing out. However, it doesn't seem to matter because it is still nasty <laughs> okay the salt is going through the grease is coming through just everything about it means that this cover won't last very long so this is actually somewhat of a negative in the vive now that i've had it so long it needs to come with something like this it really really does it, I, I i think that this is a requirement and even if you're not planning on on giving this to or even if you're not planning on demoing this to other people even if you're only worried about your sweat this this foam will eventually wear out from all the all the nasty chemicals that are coming off of your face this helps with that this is machine washable right uh, this thing comes with a nice little pouch which in addition to being shipping it also is a good container for whenever you throw it in the wash so just shove this thing back in there throw it in the washing machine with your shirts or whatever and and you're done and you you've gotten rid of all of your nasty chemicals and you're ready to go again. So yeah, I'm really kind of upset with the Vive now that I've had it for as long as I have to see that this will eventually wear out. So they either need to sell cheap uh, replacements for this or I really think that they need to start including these with the Vives because they are absolutely essential even if it's for just yourself. And if you're actually doing demos for other people, like I don't know if y'all have seen it, but I have some videos with, uh, with Barnacles over here and it is not fun to put on the headset after somebody else has played it because you go from being all nice and happy excited about being on the vr and then you put this thing on and you feel the cold slimy wet foam on your face it's a horrible okay so yeah requirement okay if you're ever gonna let anybody else play on your headset get one of these things before you do it you will regret it i promise all right so in summary the Cons of this are sort of maybe some lower quality stitching, which again, I'm not sure if that's even in a fair negative because that may just be a standard. I've never looked to find out. I'm probably gonna, gonna go and like detail search all of my clothes now to see if this is standard. Uh, the, the placement on the headset is kind of awkward at first, but you kind of get used to it. Still, I don't think there's ever gonna be a good point where like, oh yeah, I love putting this on and taking it off again. Uh, the other negative is some people seem to not enjoy the feeling of it. I personally do, but this seems to be a very, very uh, preference-based problem. So I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about the comfort of these things once you have one. And as far as the positives, it does its job. It does it very, very well. It is machine washable. It's replaceable. It protects your headset. So to me, I think that this is kind of a no-brainer as far as, yes, you need one of these. Now, on the flip side, this is the only company that I know of that makes these these covers right now. So it puts me in kind of an awkward situation to where I am I am highly recommending these things, but I don't have anything other, anything else to compare it to. So in another year from now, we may know that this is the worst <laughs> cover that that exists. But for right now, this is the best one that I have ever <laughs> used. So I don't know. It's kind of kind of an awkward situation for me to put into to recommend this thing, but I do recommend it. Uh, I have a link below, and before I even before I even throw this out there, or before to, let me let me set the record straight on this. There, the link below it is a link to an affiliate uh, kickback account that will actually help me in this channel. Uh, for everyone that actually uh, gets sold through this, I do get a little bit of a kickback for it. That being said, uh, please understand that I have had that link now for. Uh, Jeez, what, what has it been? A month and a half, I guess, since it was first announced. Since I, they, I, the first time that I saw that, I signed up for the affiliate account. However, I have refused to share that link. The first time was actually, I think, last week, whenever I, whenever I actually just finally gave out the live stream, or I gave it out to the live stream because 
I had finally some good recommendations from people that I trust that say, yes, it's a viable product. I have not tried to take advantage of that kickback because I didn't have my hands on it yet. I will not ever try to sell you guys a product that I don't strongly believe in. So if you don't trust me, just go to vrcovers.com and you can put an order in there. And that way I won't get a single penny of it. If you do trust me and if you want to help support the channel, there's a link below that actually helps me out. So keep that in mind. I'm not trying to, to sell this cover because I want to make that money. I'm doing this review because you guys asked, have asked many times what I think about it. So just just take that for what it is, okay? The only thing that I want in this channel is for you guys to understand that I am giving honest reviews on as much of the things that I can. So at no point will I try to lie to you guys, ever. And that's it. Not really a whole lot to talk about. It's a piece of cloth. It goes on your face. It helps. <laughs> uh, so I haven't, uh, I don't have one of the waterproof ones yet. As soon as I get one of those, I will do a review on those as well. I have heard some negative reports on how it's not quite as comfortable as this one in terms of, or maybe not comfortable is the right word, about how it doesn't quite fit on the headset quite as much as, uh, as this one does. So I'm not sure about that one yet. I will do a review once I have one. However, I can say that this one does not let any significant amount of line in, maybe a tiny, tiny bit on the nose, but nothing that, that ha I even noticed unless I'm looking for. So I will do a review on the other one, which I, I can't recommend yet, but I can absolutely recommend this one. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please let me know. Either drop me a comment, hit the like button, do whatever you want to do. Just let me know if you found this useful and I'll do more in the future. Uh, if you did like this, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I do new review content every Monday with some gameplay footage on Wednesdays and Saturdays. So hit the subscribe if you want to see more of this in the future. All right, guys, see ya.